Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. Once again, I forgot my SD card, so I'm filming with my phone, but I'm about to go into this reuse it store in Ephrata again. So let's go see what they have today. Let's see what they have over here. Wow, that is interesting. $16 and it's green so that's half off that looks very intricate and handmade there's another one over here wow I'm kind of in love with these but I have no idea what they are <gasps> but I love them I think I'm gonna get those they will be 16 for the pair I'm gonna get that for a dollar. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was a German nutcracker in there or smoker, but it's not, unfortunately. Are these? All right, let's see here. Green tags are half off, so let's check out these. Check out these bras here. <laughs> That is a good brand and a good style, and it looks to be a good size. It'll be $3, so I might as well grab that. I still have bras to list. As always, I still have all kinds of stuff. I think green was the color of the week the last time I was here. Oh, well, this is an Athleta. Swim top, I think? Or is that a whole suit? Nope, it's just the top. It's kind of like the season's ending with that anyway. Let's see what we have over here. These are all green. By the looks of it. This is actually very nice dress barn collection and their their dresses in that store are pretty expensive so this will be four dollars i think i'm gonna grab that what is this one liz baker this is very pretty too eliza j that is a great there's a great dress right there for $4. Wow, that is nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I think this is five after. Let me see here. Yeah, so that'll be five. You didn't get a chance to look at the clothes while I was in here last time. Well, I did, but I didn't. Tara 
this guy. That's a Walmart, Walmart brand. These are not green. I think they separate most of the green. see what they have over here. I am kind of in love with this store. I will tell you that. Look at these. Oh, these, these are weird. Let's see, they're actually marked. Recycled glass. Toron? Or is that Zoron? What is that? Maybe it's a C. Caron? Caroni? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just cracking myself up. <laughs> I'm always having fun. What can I say? What can I say? This is like the, this is like the chicken zone up in here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's like a chicken bobblehead. Mm. I still feel like I have so much to look at. These are actually pretty. Don't quit your daydream. Hmm. seeing that. And some wooden fish. Some melamine. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you what I bought at this thrift store. So I was here a couple weeks ago and decided to pop back in on, let's see, when was it? This past Tuesday, I was down there and my daughter had an appointment. So it's now Friday. I'm finally getting around to filming in the hall. Uh, things just got really crazy busy this week and you know it happens when you have kids and stuff like that so um, yeah just real busy actually I also went to a sale this morning but unfortunately I did not get to film there because I left super early I forgot my GoPro I was really tired I woke up at like 20 after 4 in the morning to go there um, well I mean I woke up to feed my dogs and this and that, but I, I did get up super early. So went there because I had already negotiated a deal last night to buy all this longer burger pottery from this, this woman. So I went there to pick it up and I bought a few other things, but unfortunately I'm not going to do a haul for any of that because I didn't even, I didn't even film there or anything. And it's just, it's basically dishes. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I am hoping to go back out to some yard sales. Anyway, also, I know you guys, some of you have been, you know, sending some messages or comments or whatever, that there's a few things that you wanted to buy. I am just super behind on listing right now. I have a ginormous pile and I will be working on that soon. I'm hoping this week. So just keep, you know, keep checking my store. It's just, uh, like I said, it's just been really crazy busy. So only one person. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to get this stuff listed as soon as possible. All right, anyway, back to this haul here. So 
went to this store and I think I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, the green was half off. I did pick up these. Uh, these were red. These were actually 10. These are a pair of Nikes, but they are in, I mean, for being white, they're in really great condition. They're, they might look a little dirty there, but they're really not. It's like shadow or something. I think these are the Lunar Run something or other. They're a size eight. They are my size, but I just feel like I would have these filthy in an hour. So I am going to be putting these up for sale. Really nice pair of shoes. So I did pay up for those. I did get a pair of dance goes. They're like uh, Mary Jane. These were eight, but they had a green tag. So they ended up being half off. So they were $4. These are, what are these? <sighs> Size 39. So I think that's about a, I think that's about a nine. I picked this up. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, but it's sealed. It's it was 250, so I decided to give that a try. Um, a lot of these health and beauty things can do well. It is sealed, like I said. Uh, I think I might be able to get like $25 for this. I did pick these bowls up. They were 50 cents a piece. They are Epoch. Uh, summer meadow so we'll see how they do but a dollar for the two I thought they were nice I picked up a cookbook for myself bite me <laughs> uh, it ended up being 50 cents I don't even cook that often but I don't know I like cookbooks so I do cook sometimes it's just been so busy uh, so yeah, I did get that for myself. I picked this up. I was so excited. This was a dollar fifty. Pugs. I mean, I don't really need another knickknacky type thing, but I will probably keep this. Um, you guys know me and my pugs, so it's it's really cute. And then I picked this Waterford. This was four dollars, but I decided to go ahead and grab it. It's a Waterford. Santa Claus, like a blown glass ornament. I think that should do well. Ooh, drop them out of the box. I didn't look up comps or anything, so I do still have to do that. Uh, Snowtime Saint Nick. That is what that is what he's called. So I will have to check that out. All right. So then I bought. I bought. I've been really into buying like groups and lots of things. So I bought a ton of these now these do not sell for a crazy amount of money but you know if you can do like a multiple quantity listing and they just sell and sell and sell you know the profit adds up i have to go through and you know group the ones together that are alike but these are switch sticks textured switch plate stick on so basically this one is like a bear this is for like a um double rocker switch but as you can see, it just kind of gives your plain, plain switches a little bit of color. Now this would normally be like nothing to ship regular first class, but I am gonna have to do the three ounce shipping uh, for you know eBay because that way there's tracking uploaded, you know, to comply with that top rated seller stuff. But I have some some single rockers and I think there's, I don't know, there might be some actual like toggle switch ones too. I don't know, but I, I got a ton of these. They were, they were 50 cents. So they were half off. So they were 25 cents a piece. And I mean, like I said, they're not going to be crazy, but I should make a couple dollars profit on each one. So that all adds up. All right, then same exact place, shelf, everything that I found last time I was in there. I found another Yankee candle wax warmer. The only thing this is missing the basket that would hang, it would hang right up on that little, that little hook right there. So a lot of them lately I've been picking up are missing the baskets, but if people already own some of them, 
you know, these baskets are basically interchangeable, so they could just hang their other basket onto this one. So when they don't have the baskets, I will less list them for a little less, but I mean, I should still get about $30 for this. At, I, I would say at least 30. Kinda, kinda neat. And I paid, it was $4 with a green tag. I paid $2 for this. So the last one that I found there was that Apple one. That, that one still hasn't sold yet, but and that one had the basket but anyway I just I can't believe I find these Yankee candle things all over the place and I keep saying it but I keep finding them it's like they are literally sitting there waiting for me wherever I go I actually have another one that I found in Jersey at a thrift store while I was going down to the beach uh, I never even filmed the haul for that because I tried to get some footage in there and it was super super loud the music was crazy so I might just do like a separate standalone, just a haul video because I do, I do have a couple bags that I've picked up at different random locations uh, where I didn't film, but did pick some items up. So anyway, then I picked this up. This was $4. It's a green tag. So it ended up being two. And I just thought it was really cool. It's like, it, it's probably handmade. It just looks like a macrame, macrame crossbody bag. Just opens up right there. I just thought it was cool and for two dollars I figured yeah let me pick that up. Uh, I picked up a bra. This is, uh, what is this? Oh, I think that's Cacique. I think that's how you say that. But it's a 44C so you know, it's a good size. It's a good kind of design and it ended up being $3. Now <laughs> I went in before my daughter's appointment and the store basically closed like, I think like 20 minutes after we got there. So I didn't get to look again at everything I wanted to, but I still found some, some stuff. So I picked up this Prana. It's kind of like a, uh, like a is it connected i don't know if it's connected i think it is connected just like a workout a workout top size small four dollars so it ended up being two because it's a green tag now this store is actually they said they're moving at the end of the month so that's sad because i have to i have to take my daughter back down a couple more times but i think they're only going to be closed for like a week and then she said the place they're moving is only about I think three or four miles away so hopefully it's a larger location I really like this store all right so this you can see I picked this up I have a little tiny mark there I'll just take a little wipe but this is really nice it's got sheer sleeves this um it's got this beaded kind of thing going on there and this is Eliza J that is a good brand it's a size 12 and it ended up being five dollars because it was half off but I think that should do should do pretty well it's a good name for for dresses and then I picked this one up I know I also showed this this is a dress barn collection woman size 24 it looks faded because of the light out here but I mean it's not and it's just it's just gorgeous look at that look at that neckline it is beautiful and then it's got you know some ruffle kind of detail on the front that is going to be a beautiful dress for someone and i ended up paying four dollars for it and then i did pick up one more bra this is a victoria's secret very sexy bra and it ended up being three dollars after the half off it did go there oh no it was Wednesday when I went it wasn't Tuesday it was Wednesday because Wednesday is 50% off whatever tag is that week and then Thursday is 70% off Friday's 90% off so yeah I went on a Wednesday I think if I would have gone Tuesday I think it would have only been 25% off maybe so yeah anyway just another bra I have some I have a pile of bras somewhere to get listed Okay, and I almost forgot to show this. Actually, I got two of these. They're a little bit different. I just didn't bring the other one in. So I thought these were really cool. They were green tags. They were marked 16 a piece. 
and I ended up getting them for 16 for the pair because it brought them down to like eight each. So I just thought they were really cool. Let me see the needlework without a glare here, but I'm not sure of age or anything like that, although they were in the antique section of this store, but um, yeah, they're just, they're gorgeous. And I just didn't really know a lot about them. And then I realized on the back, it says Kalaga Dragon Tapestry. So someone just wrote it. Somebody wrote it on there. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, prices for these online seem to be all over the place, but some are very, very high. Uh, so I don't know if someone owned these and then later frame them or, you know, anything like that, but I am probably going to price these on the higher side and just see what happens. Like I said, both are a little different. I did pick them up in the beginning of the video. And I mean, it, it doesn't even do them justice to see them on camera. Like if you really see this in person, it's just really awesome, really awesome beadwork, needlework. I mean, this had to take a ton of time. So yeah, and I think this is Kalaga, I, is it Burmese? I don't know. I, I have to do a little more research on this, but yeah, these were super cool. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad I'm able to finally get this haul filmed and get this out for you guys because it's been a couple days now. I really wanted to try to put out more content in August and I've done pretty good for the most part, but couple little setbacks just because life gets so busy. So, all right. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought of this haul and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.